be wondering how I got here. Well, it all started when I decided to make my nightmare <coughs> dream game. But not just any game, no, no. A math game. I thought, wouldn't it be cool if you could solve math problems to feed hungry bunnies? You see, this wasn't my first rodeo. I've made math games before, and the biggest challenge with creating math games in the past is making it look and feel entertaining. For example, normally games have a lot of movement mechanics because moving is fun. But we can't simply just add movement to math problems, things that are traditionally done with pen and paper. But it's okay, we'll just have to rely on my art and music skills. Come along with me and let's find out how to make learning better. I'm on a mission to make learning more fun and efficient. Now there are definitely really good puzzle games out there, so I think I can just take a page or two out of their book. I can focus on things like snappy animations, poppin' sounds, and crunchy feels. Maybe some eyes, you know, people love eyes. <sighs> Alright, I'm getting carried away. Let's start with the core mechanic. The first thing we need to focus on is what math problem are we actually solving? A couple years ago, I took a linear algebra class in college. If you're a comp sci or engineering major, you probably will or have taken this class. In that class, you learn about something called row reduction or Gaussian elimination, an algorithm invented by this uh -huh. or some Chinese math uh -huh. genius approximately 2,000 years ago. We don't really know. Anyways, row reduction is pretty much a way for you to take a system of linear equations, create a matrix out of them, do some magic calculations using elementary row operations, and get to a point where it's solved. The puzzle is solved when you get the matrix to have a one in each row in separate columns, and they kind of look like they're going in a downstairs-like pattern. The really satisfying thing about this is that if you take the number that corresponds with the one in the same row, and plug those into the original system of linear equations we had, it all fits perfectly. Just like a super satisfying puzzle. All right, it's time to get to some game dev. First, let's open a new Unity project. How are we gonna translate a matrix into the 3D world? I'll first start by creating some bunny lookalikes that will represent each number, and I'll put them into a matrix. Next, I want to get the game to a point where I can solve these math problems, kind of implementing the core mechanic first. So, how will the player solve these puzzles? Well, in row reduction, there are three rules. You can swap any row with another, you can multiply any row by constant, or you can add a row to another and replace the other row. So, how can I turn these mechanics into interactions? So, two of the three mechanics require interacting with two rows, swapping and adding and subtracting. I can potentially potentially bundle those together. I'll start with this line renderer and these action buttons pop up when you click and drag. You can then click those buttons. I also added the other rule which is to multiply divide by constant. So let's try solving a puzzle with what we've already built. Multiply the top row by two, subtract the top row from the bottom row and update the bottom row. Okay, great. So I have a zero in the first column, which is good, and a one, which is exactly what we need. So we're almost there. Next, I'll divide the top row by two, and you can see I have a one in the top row right where I want it, so I want to get rid of this four down here to solve the puzzle. So I'll multiply the bottom row by four, and subtract the bottom row from the top row, and replace the top row. Now I'll divide the bottom row by four to get it back, and the puzzle has been solved. So some of the interactions are feeling a little odd right now, but my brain kind of hurts from thinking about it so much that I need to take a break from it. So I'm gonna make the game look nice now. So what type of style do we want? Should we go for horror? Wait, no, 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 no. They'd start to fear math. We don't want that. We should go with a relaxing game because math can be relaxing. Trust me. All right, so relaxing game. Let's fix the lighting and skybox a little. Ta-da! Oh yeah, then I'm gonna upgrade the environment just a tiny bit with some colors. Add a little post-processing. Let's do some 3D modeling now. And voila! One bunny to rule them all. I gotta say, these bunnies look kinda like those Easter peeps. You know, the delicious marshmallow ones. Ooh, a chocolate bunny. A blueberry bunny. A strawberry bunny. Let's make some yum yum carrot for bunny. I then popped those into the equation and made some fences to signify that you are doing all operations on each row. I also added an arrowhead to the line renderer and added a dash texture. I added an undo button in case you made a mistake. And that's about as far as I've gotten so far. I'm going to be working on setting up some animations, some sounds, maybe creating some music for this week. 
and I'm planning to post another devlog for this and hopefully release it soon. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to help me out. And with that, farewell my fellow nerds. Thank you.